Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with another speed build video of our city zoo, the greenhouse that we are building. And we're a little bit later than normally due to freezing issues, unfortunately, and also the game crashing a lot often. So yeah, uh, but that should all be fixed right now because of the latest update so we can finally record more videos again and I'm super excited to share this one with you guys. So the Babirusa habitat is located right after the Proboscis monkey habitat and the Babirusa is not really the prettiest animal of the pack but we're going to give it a pretty habitat in our city zoo. So we did do a lot before this episode on the greenhouse itself and the surroundings itself uh, but I'm actually saving that for the last greenhouse video including a little tour of the whole greenhouse when it is completely finished. I'm going to try and see if I can add a little bit more other things than just some fences and some nature and those kind of things. So yeah, bear with me. I hope I can pull that off, but I'm going to try to do that for the last episode to really create a more detailed greenhouse with some extra finishing touches in a later stage. But for this habitat, I really wanted to create a waterfall. Of course we want a waterfall. So I use the aquatic waterfalls for that. And I actually never seen a Barusa habitat in real life in a zoo, but I can imagine that their habitats are very often like pretty boring plain probably in real life zoos. Correct me if I'm wrong, obviously. Uh, but I felt like I really wanted to do something different. So I want to do something the opposite of a very plain and buried. I want to give them a really nice habitat. Like people are really going to be impressed with this habitat instead of being like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, there we have the Beberusa habitat. That, that is at least a feeling that I'm hoping to get with this habitat. So do let me know in the comments down below if I'm able to achieve that. So this habitat will be more raised than the other habitat. Now, obviously with the path, you can't really raise it everywhere. So that's quite a hard thing. So the rest of the habitat will be raised with flat rocks to make the terrain more even. But it was also a lot harder to create this water section just because of the terrain edges. Uh, but in the end, I managed to pull it off, obviously. And added, uh, I added two smaller waterfalls from the aquatic pack at the end of this water section. I was doubting to use the longer one, but I felt like, no, let's just go for the two little ones. And uh, yeah, just make sure that they are high enough that they're not reaching the roof or anything like that. So yeah, you do see me uh, putting away the roof very often. That was uh, also because of those freezing issues and stuff. So at some point I uh, managed to find a workaround before the update landed. So yeah, by removing the roof, at least the freezing was fixed, but not the crashing. So I had to like save this every time, like all every 10 minutes or so. But yeah, it was quite uh, nice to have this workaround at least, so I could at least do a little bit more. So the waterfalls will be covered with aquatic rocks, and on the left and the right side there will be arches. So one arch will be leading to a cave on the left side, uh, where the Babarusa is able to get some privacy. And on the right side uh, there will be just a path leading towards a keeper's gate, and the keeper's gate itself is more hidden away underneath like a lot of planters and stuff so the guests will not see the keeper's gate itself they will actually lead again into some kind of cave area where the keeper's gate will be located for the babarusa habitat so on top of the cave on the left side uh, there will be mulch and a lot of tropical plants and inside of the cave we will obviously have hay beddings for the babarusa to be able to sleep and to chew on if they want to and uh, so to make sure that the babarusa would be using the cave uh, and like not like going from the backside into it or anything like that. So there's only one entrance to the cave. I made sure there's no connection on the backside to the area where the keeper's gate is. Uh, so they will have this whole cave area behind the waterfall basically. Uh, but they still have to walk through the whole habitat. So in front of the guest in order to get into the cave. And also on the right side uh, next to the waterfall above the cave as well. There will also be of course a lot more mulch and a lot more tropical plants and I just think that looks really really awesome in this case. So as you can tell at some point in this video I'm also using billboards for the first time. So uh, I actually just found a hopefully copyright free <laughs> uh, picture of some bamboos 
Uh, so I could use that for the backgrounds of all the tropical plants and stuff. And I think just something simple like that really makes the difference. And I totally love how that is looking. So what I will be doing, I will be creating a chat room in my Discord server well, where I will be posting all the billboard images I'm going to use in my zoos. Like I can't imagine already that people are like, oh my god, can I please have this bamboo picture and whatever I'm going to use in the future. It might not be that much, but I will make sure that there is a chat room where you can just easily download them from, from my Discord server. You can find the link to my Discord server in the description down below, of course. So connecting the Keeper's Gate with a path was actually quite a thing. Uh, it was still very messy underneath there and at the back of the building, it's definitely a complete mess with a lot of uh, paths being just just connected to, to be connected, basically. So I definitely need to go back to that area and maybe create some kind of backstage area, maybe with some uh, staff facility buildings or anything like that. To make it look a little bit better and neat, but obviously this is not really visible for any guests or something, so it doesn't really matter that much to be honest, only the staff would see it, but hey, this staff won't complain in Planet Zoo, but I need to, I think I need to, to, to redo that a little bit and make it look better in the end. So I had to be careful to not put like rocks too high around the uh, waterfall because of the glassy roof, of course, so you couldn't go too crazy with that, like with like mountains and stuff. Uh, but that's why it was really nice to cover the sides of the waterfall basically with more tropical trees and bushes instead. So you can really hide away like the, the very plain and ugliness of the rocks around the, the waterfall itself. So I do really like that and that was definitely one of the reasons why I really wanted to make sure that there are a lot of plants and stuff on the sides of the waterfall itself. And of course, the rest of the habitat will obviously be covered with uh, some small aquatic rocks and some tropical plants and some trees and bushes. And around the whole habitat, I really try to use a little bit more color. So we have the, the orange trees with the orange flower or the trees with the orange flowers. And we also have these purple plants, flowers, which I just really love. And the combination of that, like the, the contrast and stuff, I think it's definitely looking super colorful and tropical inside of this whole greenhouse and I absolutely love so far how this greenhouse is looking. And of course for safety I put an extra railing at the edge of the habitat in case people would, I, I don't know why, but bend over too far or something and fall in the habitat, which would be pretty dumb of course, but hey, we're taking care of this safety in this habitat, so we're putting down this extra railing for safety measures and I, I don't know, it's just that small little detail that actually just feels a little bit more realistic and just really adds a little bit more realism to your habitat. I just really like to do that, actually. So the next episode will be the Binturong and the Malaysian Tapir. Someone commented in the Proboscis Monkey Habitat video underneath it like, hey, why are you not combining any animals? And I would actually forget about that, but that's definitely a really cool idea. So we're going to combine the Malaysian Tapir and the Binturong. So yeah, we we're going to create basically two different type of levels uh, with like the flooring obviously being able to be used by the taper with a cute little water section and uh, there will be a lot of climbing frames raised and uh, yeah just playing around a little bit more with a, in a playful way with like aquatic rocks and stuff to create some kind of mountain ish area with a lot of climbing frames to uh, for them to enjoy their climbing and stuff so yeah i'm super excited to share that habitat as well with you guys and as mentioned as soon as everything is finished we're going to do one more of the glassy dome itself with like the rest of the details and the surroundings of all these habitats and then we're gonna do a little tour of the greenhouse i'm not entirely sure if that is going to be the end already of the greenhouse because actually we still have the front of the building and the, the sides of the building that i need to create something of so it, it needs to uh, be worked on a little bit more to make it look nice and neat and, and pretty. So there's still uh, some work to do at the greenhouse itself. And as I said in the beginning of this episode, I really want to try to see if we are able to uh, add a little bit more other details in that we basically always forget. Maybe something with our own signs and stuff. And if I make any new billboards, then I will link them also in my Discord, as I just mentioned. So yeah, I'm just very excited uh, for the next episode and also just very excited to uh, finish this greenhouse. I'm actually a, a little bit sad that it's almost already over. Like I'm really enjoying 
building something like this, which is completely different from the whole style that we have going on in City Zoo so far. So ah, I really do love this. So I, I feel like we need to do more of these kind of projects because I'm super enjoying this. But yeah, do let me know, of course, what you guys think of this Babi Rusa habitat. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel Little Extra, you may want to consider to become a FaveFan member with the join button of YouTube or via Patreon with the link down in the description. And you can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all those other social media pages. And all those links you can also find in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really look forward to reading all your comments. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.